Hey, it says I am live. Hey, everybody, Tim Streifler here from Divi Life, and I am live right now on Facebook. I am live on YouTube, and uh, this is part of a, a new series that I'm doing here at Divi Life called Divi Live Quick Tips. Now, the intention was for them to be short, quick tips. Uh, they've kind of turned into kind of full-blown tutorials, and that's okay. Uh, and so super excited to be here. Today we're going to be talking about Flywheel Local, or I guess it's actually technically called Local by Flywheel. And if you have no idea what that means, stay tuned. It's going to be really awesome. You're going to really love it. Uh, so again, we are live on Facebook. We are live on YouTube. If you are live right now, I'm seeing some people jump on. Um, go ahead and leave me a comment and just say live. Let me know where you're watching from and what platform you're watching on, whether you're on Facebook or you're on YouTube. Just say live and you know what platform you're on and where you're, you're coming from. That helps me know who's watching live. And then if you're watching the replay later, uh, go ahead and leave me a comment and just say replay and, and, and where you're, you're coming from, what platform, that sort of thing. So whether you're on Facebook, you're on YouTube, you're on the Divi Live blog. Um, so again, that just kind of helps me for tracking purposes, knowing uh, who's watching live, who's watching the replay later and kind of, you know, where people are coming from. You know, if no one's coming from Facebook, then I'm not going to uh, continue going live on Facebook. So that sort of thing. So if you're just now jumping on, uh, this is part of the Divi Live Quick Tip series. And today we're talking all about about Flywheel Local, how to build websites more efficiently using Flywheel, uh, fly, or Local by Flywheel, it's technically called. I keep wanting to say Flywheel Local, but it's Local by Flywheel. And so, hey, Zamir from Israel, thanks so much for tuning in. If you're just now jumping in, go ahead and leave me a comment. Let me know if you are watching live. And if you're watching the replay later, go ahead and leave me a comment saying replay and where you're, you're watching from. <clears throat> Uh, Peter says, try oxygen. Um, he's watching from Facebook. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> this is Divi Life, so we're we're all Divi over here. Uh, Divi is the number one theme in the world for a reason, so we love it. So, hey, Keith from Toronto, thanks so much for joining us. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen here. So, uh, again, if you're watching live, let me know that you're watching live. If you're watching the replay, go ahead and let me know that you're watching the replay. That just helps me figure out uh, tracking purposes, where people are coming from, and what platforms to continue streaming to, that sort of thing. So, um, awesome to be here. Now, uh, this... Uh, what you see on my screen here, this is the blog post. It's not published yet, but it will be by the time this replay is playing. And so you might already be on this page watching the replay after I send out the email blast. But um, the whole purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to build websites more efficiently using Flywheel Local. And so this post has all the details on what Flywheel Local is. And so basically Flywheel Local is a local web development tool or app uh, for easily creating WordPress websites. Now, typically, the, the typical way of building a website is you have a hosting account, and then you uh, spin up a new website there, and depending on the hosting company, it might be really easy. It might take a few clicks and might be kind of annoying. And then uh, you build the website on the live server. Now, with using Local by Flywheel, you actually turn your computer into a server, so to speak, and you're building the website locally using local by flywheel and so your com your computer essentially acts as a local server and so um, there's a lot of benefits to that the the first benefit is s the speed aspect so the time that it will save you um, essentially when normally when you're uh, on a live server and you are uh, making saves to the database. So say you're, you're building a website on Divi and you're, you're uh, changing content and you're, you're hitting save or maybe you're configuring plugins and you're just hitting save a bunch. When we're building websites, we're testing things and we're adding content and, and configuring the design and we're updating and we're looking at the, the live version and all that. Well, every time you save, it takes a couple of seconds. Now, depending on uh, where you're located in the world geographically to your server. So if your server is in the same country, same region as you, it's going to be a little bit quicker, especially if you have really fast internet. But sometimes uh, you might have fast internet. You might have, uh, you know, be close to your server. You might have really good hosting, but it seems like it's just kind of taking a long time and it's really annoying. Well, those precious seconds add up over time. And so by the time you get done building a full-blown website, you've done a lot of saves to that database, a lot of updates to the server, and those seconds have added up and it ends up taking you an hour, 
or two, you know, a few hours extra that you could have saved if you were to build locally using local by flywheel or another local development tool. There's others out there. I recommend using local by flywheel because it's free and it's the best one that I've found. And so it's, it's really, really awesome. So if you're just now jumping on, um, let me know in the comments where you're coming from. If you're watching live, uh, if you're watching on YouTube, Facebook and what country or region you're coming from. Uh, super excited to be doing this tutorial. We're doing it all about Flywheel Local, and so uh, just now talking about what Flywheel Local is. One of the, you know, some of what the benefits are. You basically, turn your server, or I'm sorry, your computer into a local server, and you can easily spin up websites. So I'm kind of going over the benefits now, and kind of the reasons why you should use it, and uh, uh, you know how it's going to help you. And then I'm going to actually sh do a screen share and show you what it looks like and how to easily. Uh, spin up new websites. So one thing I do want to say, because uh, it came up uh, recently, I was talking to someone about local by flywheel and they mentioned that they used it a year ago or so. And it just was kind of buggy, kind of slow. Um, one thing I want to say, if that was you, um, give it another shot. They just released a new, they're calling it their lightning version and it is very fast. I never use the old one, so I never experienced it. Uh, any of uh, any bugs or slowness or anything like that. I've only I just started using local by flywheel uh, a couple weeks ago um, Shortly after they launched the lightning version, but it is very very fast uh, creating new websites is super fast and everything so um, Just want to throw that out there if you maybe had a bad experience in the past Start fresh. It's uh, the whole new version is really awesome. So local by flywheel lets you turn your computer into a server, so to speak. So rather than having to save and have your, uh, anytime you make an update, having it travel through the internet to your server and then updating and then it pinging back, which granted only takes a second or two, but those seconds sat up, you can basically have instant save. Everything is very, very quick. So that's the first benefit, which to me is the most important. Um, I have fast internet, I have fast hosting, so it's not that big a deal, but those precious seconds add up. Um, and so the next reason or uh, benefit of developing locally, so this, this, these benefits are kind of to local development, whether you're using local by flywheel or you're using some of the competitors or, or other versions out there, um, this kind of apply to all. But another benefit is it's more secure and private. Um, you might maybe have a project, it's kind of a, a secret side project you don't want anyone to know you're working on. And so you just kind of want that um, extra assurance that no one's going to see it. And so when you develop locally, it's on your computer, just like as if you were writing a Word document. And so it's saved, it's secure, and uh, there's no prying eyes out there. Um, even if you use a coming soon plugin um, to kind of block traffic, there's still the risk of someone getting around that or, or maybe the hosting company, you know, the support techs are on and they kind of see what you're up to. So if you really want ultimate security and privacy when you're building a website, build it locally. No one else can access it unless you give them access. So Flywheel actually has a, uh, a feature that you can share links. Um, so say you're building a website for clients, and we're going to get to this. I'll show it to you. Uh, you can actually build, um, you can give them, an, enable a live link and allow them to access your local version uh, through tunneling, and it basically accesses your local machine. It kind of it sounds a little bit uh, <laughs> mystical, magical, uh, some sort of wizardry, and it's a combination of those. Um, and it sounds sketchy, but I promise it's secure, and you can enable it and turn it on and off at, at any time. So um, Mohammed just said in the comments here he's using local by flywheel in Windows and it's showing an error. I'm, I'm not sure I, I don't use Windows. I definitely recommend reaching out to them um, or looking at their uh, support uh, forums. I, I do want to say one thing. I was using a different plugin. I've been developing locally for a few years but using a different tool and I just started using uh, local by flywheel recently. And so on my older machine, my, my laptop, I still had the other uh, uh, local development tool on there. And so Flywheel Local was conflicting and it wasn't working right. And then, but on my machine here that I'm on my iMac, um, I didn't, I wasn't using a previous uh, local development tool, and so um, it runs fine. So that's something you might want to be aware of if you're developing locally using something else. You might need to fully uh, uninstall and go through an uh, un uninstallation process and run the script to remove anything uh, that's running there. So keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, reach out to, to Flywheel if you're having issues. Um, they can definitely look into that for you. 
So if you're just now jumping on live, we are talking about Local by Flywheel, which is a web development tool that lets you build WordPress websites all from your local computer without having to have a hosting account. Uh, it makes it really fast because you're not saving to a remote server. Uh, it's also really secure and really private um, because no one else can see it. It's just your local machine. And then the last reason or kind of major benefit, so to speak, is you can do so without internet connection. So um, if you like to, if you're tra if you're traveling a lot, and you would like to work on uh, projects while you're traveling, um, well, you can do that with local by flywheel because you don't need internet. Um, I, I traveled quite a bit last year, uh, not so much this year, but um, I would often pay for the in-flight Wi-Fi, which was you know, way too expensive for what it was and, and super unreliable and it would come in and out and super slow. Um, and so I remember trying to work on projects using that terrible internet. It was pathetic. However, when you use a tool like local by flywheel, it's doesn't need the internet. And so you can, you know, work really fast even without an internet connection. So super awesome. Or if you're in a place where maybe uh, your internet overall is unstable and it kind of comes in and out and you have outages a lot. Um, developing locally can help kind of save your work. So, uh, you know, there's no risk of anything getting uh, removed and you can continue working even during those outages. Um, and then when you, once you have strong internet, then you can, you know, push live and, and migrate it to the live server. So um, that's really cool too. Um, so now let's actually dig into what it looks like. Um, kind of the, the talking part is over showing you kind of the benefits of using flywheel local. Now I want to show you actually what it looks like. And so, um, the first thing you're going to do is go to local by flywheel.com and click the download button. I have screenshots here. It's super self-explanatory. You'll be able to figure it out. Basically select your operating system, Mac, windows, Linux, put in your uh, information, uh, email, um, I didn't put in phone number, so you can skip that. And then you just click get it now and it's gonna download the app for you. And you install it just like you would any other application. So I'm not gonna go over that because chances are you know how to install an app at this point. Um, and then once you install it, you're gonna see something that looks pretty much like this here. So um, I'm just gonna get it out of the window here. So I have, I'm using dark mode on my Mac and so they have it dark mode configured so that's why it's dark if you um, are not using dark mode or, or maybe you're on Windows or, or whatnot it's gonna look like this here so it's gonna look uh, white and green so just don't be alarmed if uh, yours looks different than mine um, but yeah so this is what it looks like when you welcome screen now I have you see this here this is because I have a flywheel account and so I'm, I'm uh, logged into my Flywheel hosting account. So Flywheel hosting is uh, super awesome hosting, highly recommend it. They own local by Flywheel. And so of course they have it integrated. I'll, I'll talk about that. Um, but yeah, you should see something like this. And now I'm gonna show you what it looks like to create a new website. So I'm just gonna click this button here and I'm gonna give it a site name. So I'm just gonna call this Divi Life Test. Now, if you want, you can go to advanced options if you wanted to customize the domain. So when you type it with spaces, it automatically converts the spaces to dashes here. Uh, and you can control that if you want. Um, I'm gonna come back to the blueprint here, but uh, just skip that for now. And then you're gonna hit continue. Now this is where you set up your login credentials. I'm just gonna do something generic here for demonstration purposes. Um, you can put your email if you want. Um, I'm just going to leave that blank. Advanced options, if you want to make this a multi-site install, you can do that. And then you just click Add Site. And so it just takes a second here to provision the database and, and get everything set up. It's going to prompt me here for my uh, computer password uh, just to give it the, the permission there. And then in a couple seconds here, uh, now it's probably taking it slightly longer than it would normally just because I have the live streaming stuff going on. There's a lot running on my machine, but even with that, you can see super quick. Now it's done. Now I can click here and go to admin. <clears throat> and you should uh, see the admin screen here. And I'm just gonna show you what that looks like here. Log in with the demo password. And now I'm in. So a fresh WordPress install, as you can see, as I'm clicking through the WordPress area, 
uh, everything is super quick, super snappy. And it's because it's all running localized on my machine. It's not going out to the internet to uh, c go and get the new page and all of that and come back. So it's very, very fast. Everything is super, super quick. And so um, I just wanted to show you the back end and show you how quick that was. Um, so let me bring back Flywheel here. Okay, so uh, so this is what the local by Flywheel app looks like. Um, chances are you're not going to need to worry about anything here. Uh, this is just some more advanced stuff. Um, but your main buttons here, admin, view site, that just goes to the home page. Um, so super self-explanatory. Uh, one thing that you can do is you can uh, basically add a SSL certificate, um, sort of. Um, and so you can just go ahead and click the trust button here. And what that does is it tells your browser that it's a safe and secure website to look at. Um, and so it's um, kind of mimics an SSL functionality. Um, so one thing to be clear, just because you click that, it, it won't automatically force SSL on all pages. And so um, you will still have to go into uh, the WordPress admin area and save uh, if you want the permanent URL to be HTTPS, you can do that, or you can use a, a plugin that forces it. So I just want to make that clear. Um, but yeah, very, very cool, very easy. Um, now, I mentioned there's a, uh, a feature built into Local by Flywheel called Live Links. And so when you enable that, it will create a link right there, and you can send that link to clients, to team members, to someone that you want to preview the site to, uh, you want to demo the site to, um, and they can access that from anywhere in the world. And so it's connecting to your computer. I'm just going to go ahead and disable that there. Um, but you can do that. So um, one thing I do want to make clear is you do need Flywheel local app running in the background uh, in order for your, your dev sites, your local dev sites to work. So it needs to be running. And so another thing too, is you might, uh, you know, want to stop certain sites. I don't really know why you would want to turn off a site, but in case it's disabled, you can just go right there and then you just, um, oh, you can go up here and go to start site. That's how you do it. Um, so yeah, you might find that something's not working. Make sure that the local, um, app is running and if if it is running then make sure you see the green uh icon there next to um the, the name of the site so this is where all of your sites are um are going to be so if you have more than one which chances are pretty quickly you will have several they're going to all be right here uh, you can remove sites um just by right clicking and hitting delete um, or if you have like five or 10, I actually went through and just cleared them all for this demo. Uh, I didn't need the sites anymore. You can just shift select all of them and then right click and then just delete like five or 10 at a time, uh, which is pretty useful. So that is how easy it is to spin up websites. Super, super fast, very simple, very well-designed app here. Uh, the local by flywheel app, uh, very clean and minimalist, uh, a competitor. I'm just, I'm not going to name them, but a competitor I use looked really old school, kind of old fashioned, kind of clunky looking, um, and a little bit buggy as well. And so flywheel, very, very fast. I haven't had any issues with it. Um, and it's just a really clean user interface for the app itself. Uh, so pretty cool. Um, now another thing I wanted to talk about, cause this blog post here is the title of it is how to build websites more efficiently using flywheel, uh, flywheel local. So just by using flywheel local, you'll notice that you're able to build websites a lot quicker. Um, but there's a whole nother thing that you can do to speed up your, your website development process further. And it's using something called blueprints. It's built into flywheel and basically it's pretty self-explanatory, but it allows you to create template sites. So when you create a new website in the future, you can easily, uh, create it from the template and that way you don't have to start with a blank install. So, um, you notice here, the one I created, this is a totally blank install. Uh, there's no, uh, themes besides the default themes. There's no plugins, there's no nothing. Um, and so, uh, to save time, what you can do is you can set up, um, blueprints and you can do some of those common tasks 
that you do on every single website anyway. So for example, if you're using Divi, then you're going to install Divi on every single site. If you're a, you know, Divi's uh, your, uh, your main choice of themes, uh, you're going to install Divi. You're going to add the, the Divi API credentials. Um, you're probably going to set the desired permalink structure, the post name or whatever you want. Um, you're going to go into the um, display settings and set the home page as the front page. Um, you're going to install some Divi plugins, maybe Divi overlays and Divi bars. Shameless plug uh, to my plugins. Um, you're going to install some other common plugins. So, for example, forms. I use uh, either Gravity Forms or Forminator on pretty much any website that I build. Um, I've been using Gravity Forms for years, and so I'll pretty much use that on every website because every website needs forms, and I like the advanced functionality that Gravity Forms offers. Um, also, uh, a lot of people will be putting backup plugins on their website. Um, as a side note, if you use host like Flywheel Hosting, um, they have backups built in, so you don't necessarily need a backup plugin. They have it uh, at the server level, and they're saved in a separate location. So um, another reason why I highly recommend Flywheel Hosting. Um, and so those all those common tasks that you do on every single new website that kind of suck up a lot of time. And you might have the routine down where you go and you add and you you know copy the credentials and boom, 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 and it only takes you a few minutes. But imagine if you could just skip that step altogether. And so you can do that with blueprints. And so I'm going to show you how to do that now. Super simple. So I created this site here. Now, um, hypothetically, let's just say I went in and I did all of those common tasks, uh, such as install Divi, add the API credentials, install some of the plugins that I use, that sort of thing. Um, now I'm ready to make it a blueprint. And so all you do is you right click on it and you go save as blueprint and you can call it uh, Divi starter site or blank Divi or Divi blueprint, whatever you want. Um, and then you go to save blueprint and it's just going to save it as a blueprint. It takes just a few seconds here. <laughs> Zamir just mentioned has flywheel designed the decor for your room, the same colors. Yeah, I have lights that can, I can change the colors. And so just for fun, I had it match the theme of this tutorial, which is flywheel. So green, um, so yeah, they did not personally design it. Um, but yeah, great question. <laughs> um, okay, perfect. So, uh, we've created the blueprint. So now when I come down here and I go to create new site, I'm going to call this test site two. I'm gonna go to advanced options. And now I have this blueprint here. So I had some other ones I was testing around with. Um, and so I think I, the one I just created was called Divi starter site. And then you just go create site from blueprint. So super, uh, fast to do. I just saved myself time, not having to go and download Divi, the latest Divi, get my API credentials, uh, go and change the permalink. So all the stuff that I'm going to do a million times on every single website I build, I, I can just skip that all together. Now you could also have, um, different blueprints for different types of sites. So say for example, um, you build, um, a lot of, you know, you have a lot of clients that are dentists, for example, so you have a lot of dentist sites. So, you know, you kind of have some things that you use on every dentist site that you build. Okay. Well, you can have a dentist blueprint and then maybe you have just kind of a general blank Divi, you know, new site and type of thing. Uh, you know, then you can have a blueprint for that and then a blueprint for this. So, um, you can have as many blueprints as you want within flywheel local. So it's super easy to do uh, and it can save you a ton of time. So Keith just asked, so the blueprint has all your plugins and settings. Yes, absolutely. So it's, it's an exact clone of the site. And so if you add plugins and then you configure the plugins, um, and then you, yeah, you, you do other things, um, configure Divi theme options and, um, you know, you have some different things in there. Maybe you have uh, some code snippets that you like on every single site and you put that in a child theme. Well, that's all going to be cloned with your blueprint. And so it's an exact copy of the site as if you were editing that, that previous site, but it's going to go ahead and automatically update all the file past the URL structures and stuff to match the new name. Uh, so it's really slick, very, very cool and easy to do. Um, so that is, uh, another benefit of using local by flywheel. And by the way, um, I don't know if I said this, but local by flywheel is totally free. Um, everything that I've shown you is free. They do have premium plans. 
Um, but to be honest, I haven't seen anything in there that really makes sense to upgrade. And it's kind of expensive too. I think it's like 50 bucks a month or something. Um, so the core features are hundred percent free and will remain free. And they're trying to add, you know, come up with creative uh, add ons and, and stuff like that. But everything that I'm showing you here today is hundred percent free. Um, all you have to do is, is sign up on their website, put your email, they'll probably send you uh, email marketing emails to try to get you to, um, you know, sign up for their hosting, which is really good hosting. Um, but yeah, it's a hundred percent free. So I wanted to make that super clear. Uh, so yeah, that is how blueprints work. Now, um, I mentioned here, there's um, some additional features I wanted to touch on. Um, I, I mentioned live demo links already. Um, so I don't need to talk about that. So basically what that is, is again, you can enable the live link if you wanted to show someone remotely anywhere else in the world, uh, what the site looks like that's in your, your local environment, you can give them a live link and you can enable it, disable it at any time. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, and then another feature is, um, you can push your site live to flywheel hosting. So, um, again, Flywheel hosting, highly recommend. You can um, basically, because they have uh, local by Flywheel is their tool, um, you can push a site that you built locally to your live environment uh, with um, Flywheel hosting. And you can do the opposite too, you can pull it down. So you can go and see a list of all your sites and then you can pull that site down and then start editing it locally, uh, making changes and stuff. That way you're not interrupting anything on the live site. And then when it's the way you want, you can push it live. So they have that push and the pull uh, integration with Flywheel Hosting. Um, and then now since WP Engine owns Flywheel now, as of, I think that was this year, um, earlier this year, uh, now it's not ready yet, but it says it's coming soon. They're going to have that same option with WP Engine Hosting as well. WP Engine is what I use for DiviLife.com. Um, so that'll be cool too, being able to push and, and pull uh, to WP Engine. So those are the only hosting companies. Um, you can't do that with other third-party hosting. Um, however, you can use a migration plugin to easily migrate from local to live, and 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 uh, you know do that very easily as well. So that's a a really cool feature, getting to push and pull um, from Flywheel Hosting. Um, and then in terms of additional features, I have a link to the features page. Uh, you can see some other stuff there. But this is kind of the core benefits of uh, local by Flywheel and kind of the benefits of developing locally just kind of overall. So even if you wanted to use a different tool and not use local by Flywheel, um, a lot of the benefits that I've gone over in terms of saving you time, the security and privacy, uh, being able to develop without Internet, um, all of those is kind of really holds true to any uh, local tool. But in my opinion, local by Flywheel is by far the best. It's free, very fast, very clean UI, uh, and simple to use. So um, that is it for this tutorial. If you have questions, feel free to uh, leave them in the comments. If you have requests on other tutorials that you would like me to do in the future, um, since this is Divi Live Quick Tips, most of the future ones will be kind of more Divi related. So for example, um, you know, kind of highlighting different Divi features or, or, or showing you different things that um, kind of take Divi further. So um, if you go back, to, if you go to DiviLife.com and go to our blogs and tutorials, you can see um, all the Divi Live quick tips that I've done uh, recently in the last month. And uh, one of them being five Divi workflow features to help you create websites faster. And so got a lot of really great feedback on that. So I'm going to be highlighting other Divi features as well that can really help save you time. Uh, global defaults being one of them. Um, uh, so yeah, uh, so definitely stay tuned for that. But again, if you have any requests, let me know. I, I definitely want to create tutorials for the things that the most people want to see. Um, so I've gotten a lot of requests in the comments on uh, the Divi Life blog posts. So um, yeah, definitely let me know. Hope you found this tutorial helpful. And uh, until next time, take care. Bye-bye.